everyone welcome back to another bible study with the feed my sheep foundation video channel we are in chapter six uh, with the book of micah for this video and it begins with the lord speaking he says hear now what the lord says arise contend plead your cause thou before the mountains before the lord and let the hills hear your voice hear O mountains the lord controversy and you strong foundations of the earth for the Lord has a controversy with his people and he will plead with Israel so this is again Micah going in as he's in the presence of them around them telling them you know that God has a problem with their behavior he says oh my people what have I done unto you and wherein have I wearied you and uh, testify against me for I brought you up out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of servants, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O oh, my people, remember now what Balak, king of Moab, consulted, and what Balaam, the son of Bayar, answered him from Shittim uh, unto Gilgal, that you may know the righteousness of the Lord. So, you know, he's saying, look at what's wrong with you, basically. What's wrong with y'all? What's going on? You know, I showed you that I'm your God when I delivered you out of Egypt where the enemy had you in bondage and was mistreating you, beating you, and, and uh, I pulled you out of that. I showed and told you and explained to you who I was through Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, but now your behavior has changed. You began to want to worship and serve someone else. And so he says, wherewith shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before the high God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings? with calves of a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? For he has showed thee, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. And that is what God is saying that he had a problem with them again doing because they were not doing that. They had not, they were not doing justice and they were not uh, complying in love or mercy because they were not walking humbly before God because they had not submitted to what God had ordained for them to submit to through the power and the presence of uh, Moses and Aaron. They no longer was even thinking of what they, the doctrine that he had said, they had begun to worship the other gods. So, and therefore they were unable to be just, to, you know, to be just with the people or to be merciful or loving because they were worshiping another God. And once you come under alignment with another deity, you are going to follow after what that deity has you doing. It just as whenever you become one with God, the closer and the more you begin to walk with him, you'll be the more you become one with him and the more you become of him. So uh, it's the same with other guys also. And you begin to, you know, because you want to please the God that you're walking with, okay? Because you're talking with that God, you're communing with that God, you're worshiping in that God. And so you become one with the God. Of, uh, and, and so um, as the Heavenly Father decrees and declared, you know, you're going to love one master be, or, or the other because you cannot serve two masters. You're either going to love the one or hate the other. And uh, they had began to, unfortunately, hate God and love those gods that were in that land. And unfortunately, that is what the Holy Spirit is saying is of the kingdom today in some parts. Oh, my God, help us, Holy Jesus. What God is saying, he is seeing people, they are more in love with the other gods in the earth than they are with the God who originally, chose, who originally created them, chose them, and created them and pressed his spirit down within them. And he is seeing that same behavior and is calling for repentance in the mighty name of Christ Jesus from that, calling for a turn away from those other gods in the earth. And he says here, uh, verse 9, the Lord's voice, voice cried unto the city, and the men of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod, and who has appointed it? You know, they were trying to explain to them that God is coming with his judgment. The rod of his judgment is coming. And uh, because of how they have changed in their behavior and how they have lost faith and they have not hearkened unto the God of heaven, they have not humbled themselves, submitted themselves unto God. And God is saying that same thing is happening in the earth today. 
at where there are many people pleading with people in reference to their behavior. Stop, you know, go away, go drink. But nevertheless, because of the hard heartedness of mankind, they're not hearing it and they're not uh, paying it any attention. And what happened? Because that was the same thing that happened in Jerusalem. When God did go forward with his judgment, his vengeance, he did vindicate. Okay. Okay, now going on to verse 10, he says, Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the skinked measure that is abominable? Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? For the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Deceitfulness in the mix of them. Lies. Uh, they're rich, but they uh, are deceitful and evil and they are liars he's saying therefore also will i make thee sick and smiting thee and making thee desolate because of thy sins for thou shalt eat but not be satisfied and thy casting down shall be in the midst of thee and thou shalt take hold but shall not deliver and that which thou deliverest will i give up to the sword for thou shalt sow but thou shalt not reap thou shalt tread the olives but thou shalt not anoint thee with oil and sweet wine, but shall you won't be able to drink it, thou shalt not drink. For the statues of Omri are kept, and all the works of the house of Ahab, and he and you walk in their counsel. See, see, they were those were the counsel that they were walking in, the different statues that they were keeping. The statues of Omri are kept, he says, and all the works of the house of Ahab. And ye walk in their counsel, and their whatever doctrine, whatever advice, whatever they're telling them to do, that's what they're doing, he says. And uh, that I should make thee de a desolation, and the inhabitants thereof and hissing. Therefore ye shall bear the reproach of my people. Because again, they were walking in rebellion, worshiping this other idol. This other uh, so-called God. And it speaks of the God too, statutes of Omri. And then this also gives us uh, a revelation into what it looks like whenever an individual does begin to worship another God. There's always some type of doctrine attached to it, telling them, of course, <clears throat> because they have to uh, speak to you and rule you and give you uh, information on uh, what they're about. And so, therefore, there is doctrine that is attached to that whatever type of God an individual may unfortunately begin to uh, go forward worshiping other than the God of heaven and earth. All right, so this takes us through our chapter six Bible study. God bless you. God be with you. And I will see you on our next Bible study as we continue to go forward with the Feed My Sheep Foundation Bible study video channel.